All right, let's go on to section 11.2. In this case, we're going to be talking about median. <clears throat> and it's likely you may have heard this word median before. Um, when you're kind of driving down the highway, and if you have a, one of those divided highways with kind of cars going this way, and then cars going this way, usually there's like a, like a big like a block in the center. And we call this the median and this is kind of like what we're doing with our numbers in this case because this median is in the center and that's its key location the media would not be very effective if it ran through one of the lanes on the highway so when we're finding the median of a data set we're doing it different than we are with an average it takes a little bit more time um, but we're really finding the center number Okay, so let's take a look at the median of a pretty simple data set. We have this set, 47, 56, 51, 45, and 41. And what I want to do is I want to find the middle number. So my first step in this case is I need to sort them low to high. Okay, so let's see, my lowest, I'm gonna rewrite this as 41. And I like to cross them off so I know that I used them. 45, 47, 51, and 56. Now I have my numbers all in my order. And to get my median, what I do then is I just cross off numbers alternating on each side. So this way, this way, this way, this way, which leaves me 47. 47 is my median in this case. Let's take a look at one more example. And in this case, I want to talk about what happens when we have a <clears throat> even number of terms. So let's take a look at this. We have, let's see, got some new colors. Example one, we're going to look at this data set. We have uh, 14, 15, 20, 18, 16, and 12. Okay, to find the median, the first thing I'm going to need to do is to sort them low to high. Okay, so I'm going to start with my 12, 14, 15, 16, 18, and 20. Then I'm going to cross off numbers till I get a center. Okay, one, two, two, two. Let me use uh, maybe a different color to cross off. Might look a little fancier. So now I have a problem here. I have two numbers in the center. When that happens, when I'm finding the median, what I do is I just take the average of these two to find a new median. So I'm really going to find like a number right in the center of both of these. To find the average of two numbers, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add them up and divide by two. Because when I'm finding an average, I total up my terms and I divide by the number of terms. So in this case, I'll have 31 over 2 which I believe is 15 and a half. Equals 15.5. Which does make sense if I'm looking for a point directly between... <coughs> excuse me. 15 and 16. It would make sense that it would be 15.5. This is how I find my median. Not particularly difficult. Go ahead and go on.